guys, so it's Zaya here, and I just wanted to say that this video is a polymer clay video. Um, I have been doing a lot with polymer clay lately, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, it's not quite a comparison video, but it is a different brand of polymer clay than what I was using, and I do get to show you some of my creations that I have done this week. Because I've been doing a lot more polymer clay this week than I have like actual art. Um, well, I mean, polymer clay art is art, but like, you know what I mean? Like painting, watercolor, color pencil. I needed a break. I needed to deter away from that stuff right now because I was feeling really burnt out. And now I'm feeling more and more uh, inspired. So I hope you guys look forward to some of the videos I have scheduled and some of them may already be live so go check those out and once again I do have playlists and I will be updating them on the regular now so I really hope you guys are doing well and I really hope that you enjoy this clay video so all right guys um if you want to see what I got please stay tuned and enjoy
to get the cheese the color it is. It is a pepperoni sausage pizza with mozzarella cheese. And this is what the back of it looks like. It's not completely mixed. Again, I'm still very new at clay, but this is also not baked yet. See, it's very mendable, moldable. Try not to do that too much. But I'll show you another pizza that I made with my other polymer clay set that I have, and I used Mod Podge to get it shiny. I made a thin crust pizza with, that is a margarita pizza. And again, like I said, I use glossy Mod Podge over the sauce and then I used matte Mod Podge over the rest of it. So this is pizza. It's not as big as this other one, but again, like I said, I'm learning. Um, this is more of a thicker crust pizza compared to this crust over here. So, I very much love this clay stuff. And uh, I also made a sandwich out of my other clay, not this new clay that I got. The shuttle art clay got different clay and it is a bologna tomato cheese and lettuce because that is what I like to use bologna with and I got Mod Podge to look like mayonnaise on there so I love it and it sits up right just like that and I also need this loaf of potato bread or whatever bread you might want to call it whatever it looks like to you to me I think it looks kind of like sourdough but it is a little too yellow unfortunately so yeah I do have photos of all of these on my Instagram and then lastly with the other clay I have this tomato plant which I covered in glossy Mod Podge and then I have a I hook there that I can turn this into a little keychain if I wanted to. And again, I love tomato plants. Don't know why, but I do intend on improving more and more and more. So these are my creations and I'm going to go bake this one now. So yeah, I'm still not sure whether to cut a slice out of it or not. So maybe I'll do one with a slice cut out of it to make it like fit back into place. I don't know yet, but I love all my miniatures. A uh, box that I got a necklace from, and I am using it to hold my polymer clay stuff. Now I just need to go bake this one. So, because like I said, it's not baked yet. It's still wobbly. I'm gonna go bake it now. Okay, you guys, so this is the new clay I got. This is the 50 colors, 42 standard, 5 neon, and 3 metallic, 19 clay tools and accessories. And then this was my other set that I had. I still have a lot of clay, and it's not like I'm not gonna use this clay. I am. I was just running out pretty fast with some basic colors, and I also just about ran out of white. This is like this one and this one is like all the white that I had left. But uh, as you can see, um, I do have quite a bit. And I am, of course, still going to use this. I'm not going to waste it. Don't worry. This is the 36 colors. And it did come with some accessories. I don't know what the brand is, but it does say non-toxic oven bake. And this is the stuff. Oh, wait, no. I guess I had another little piece of white clay left down here, so it's good to know. Um, these are little bottles that I used for my bread stuff that I made. And um, here's the other colors in this set. Let's put this back. 
back. I did pre-open these because it's a little hard to do one-handed. So I'm going to move that to the side. And this is the new set that I got. I did not pre-open this one, but I opened these bottom ones. Um, so here's all the tools that came with. That set, this set down there did come with tools like this. Um, so I have two sets of those tools and it came with a little baggie that has cool little things that I can attach the clays to, which is cool. And this came with a mold of gems. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna use these right away, but I did play with them the other day. It was fun <laughs> to play with them. It sounded like a five-year-old. Um, and it came with these types of tools, which have been helpful with some really hefty details that I've been wanting to do. And then here's this set did come with this set. So I have two sets of those and I've already started using the white. Um, but yes, and then you can see I've already made a pizza out of this clay. This is what I made out of this clay set. And I used pastel to color it. And if you hear the background noise, I do apologize. Um, again, there's not much I can do with the background noise. So, here's these colors. I couldn't tell if this was a pink or more of a tan color. I think it's tan, I'm not sure. Um, let me know if you can tell what it is because I am a little colorblind with certain colors, it seems. And then here's this clay at the bottom. Here are the golds. It looks like it came with gold, bronze, and silver and then neon colors. I couldn't tell if this was a neon color or not. So, and then here were the browns. And I, again, couldn't tell if these were all brown, so I just put them here because I think this is a brown, but it looked orange, so yeah. Um, this is all that came in this set. It actually has three tiers instead of two. This was a little more on the pricier side, but I got a lot of stuff with it, so it's worth it, and I've been using clay a lot lately, because like I said earlier, I've been getting burnt out on regular art, so I have been doing more interactive art. Don't worry, I'm going to get back to regular art soon, I just really needed to do something a little different. To help get you back in the mood to make more art for you all. There we go. See, I can't do that one-handed. Um, but yes, so this is the new set and this was the old set. And I'm not making anything in this video, so I hope that you don't mind this review. So yeah, I've already showed sets that I stuff I made from this clay. And I showed you what I made from this clay, which again was this pizza. So yeah, um, I can't wait to make more stuff. And definitely tune into my Instagram because I do post pictures on Instagram. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. All right, my loves, I really hope you love this video. I was going to maybe add like a little bit of me using this clay, but I figured I'm gonna just put that in its own video. Um, so this is basically just an unboxing video and uh, I showed you what creations I have created and so far I have only created that one pizza out of the shuttle art clay and I showed you other pieces I made from my other polymer clay. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you stick around to see what I make with this clay because I think I'm going to do some polymer clay videos too. I know I have a lot of different types of videos, that's also why I created playlists. So if there's like a specific art style that you like me to do, I probably have it in the playlist. So if you like my watercolor, my acrylic, you know, I have an acrylic painting playlist. I have my art blogs playlist. So um, yeah, definitely check those out and I hope you guys are well. And I really can't wait to see you on the next video. All right guys, bye.